Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, if you are new here, you didn't watch my previous video, please click on the card up there and you probably will be a good idea to know where these stories come from and where are we heading. So it's a behind the scene of my feature film that I shot uh, last year and I'm trying to share with you guys how the process was and the things that I've uh, used to accomplish this project. So why did I shoot the whole project in with just two lights? First of all, because I didn't have the money to buy or to rent expensive uh, lighting. And second of all, it's the light that was at my disposal, so I didn't have much options. I will say that the main lights that I've used uh, is just two lights. And most of the time I've tried to utilize the practicals that are where in the location. So, the, so my main lights I've been using in these projects are called Sweet, it's a brand. It's a PL90, they are like 100 watts, they are bicolor. So they are 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. And you can dim them from zero to 100%. It's amazing. Pretty much all the time I've been uh, shooting exteriors because of uh, I wrote the story myself. So I was kind of like aware of my limitations. Uh, the other thing that I like the most about this light is that if you put it, let's say, in 100%, you can really shoot outside and looks like it's a HMI. They, they have very good quality. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll say that's what's my only two main lights. So in the main location that we have been using, I was trying so much to use the practical lights that were available. And also bought like 10, 100 watt uh, warm bulbs. They were like very useful. Every place that we go, I didn't like the light. I could just easily change and insert my own lighting. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like they also helped to illuminate the scene and make it more realistic. And that's the other thing that we sometimes forget. When you have a lot of lights, you can get carried away and trying to blow up the scene and make it look, I don't know, cinematic and whatever you call it. But realistically, for example, for me, those tube, uh, those bulbs, they are like the majority of the bulbs that we use in the in houses in Tanzania. So a lot of places when I, I go, I just insert it. It looks exactly as it's just a normal sitting room, for example. So what I did mostly like the two main lights, I was using it more for coverage. Let's say if I'm shooting a wide scene or if I'm shooting a place that is a little bit more dark. So they were like the boosting up the ambience light and uh, to be more creative. For example, if I was shooting a night scene, I would place them outside. I barely used all of them inside. Like I have a scene that all the time I could place them outside because one thing that you need to have is that the scene to be, uh, you are set to be balanced, to have depth. Like you have where this character is sitting. They have like a practical light. Uh, most of the time it's like over the top and you have the backlight in the edges to them to make the subject stand out. But based on the fact that I didn't have so much light, so most of the time I will put my subject in the scene and those strong lights, I'll place them outside to emphasize the, the look of the scene, to emphasize the mood, especially if there was a night scene to make it look more like it's a night scene. It's not always the lights about the subject. It's not about the on the on the on the color how the color is lit. Sometimes it's about the environment how it looks. And I also bought like uh, very cheap Chinese tubes. They are more like for decorations and uh, they're very popular nowadays in my country. If you've ever been in Africa, especially uh, outside in Tanzania, every place you go at night in a bar, in a restaurant, in the transportation, in a bajaji, we have. Everything lit in LGB, it's like everything sparkling. We have a trend nowadays. So I tried to use also uh, those little tubes. They're very cheap, like $5. Yeah. So how I was able to shoot the movie with just this cheap lighting? Please comment below. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in particular and what other things you'd like me to talk in the future and my next video. I would appreciate a lot and subscribe or like if you didn't subscribe yet. The truth is, since I wrote the story myself, 
I was very particular about the locations and time of, of shoot. And I would say 90% of the whole movie is outdoors and daylight. So this is one of the advantage or the advice that I will give to someone that uh, they have produced their own content is to try make tell the story in a way that doesn't kills you. We have an advantage of having a natural light. So I was pretty much trying to utilize that. Few few scenes like there are three or three or four. Yeah, I shot them in the night. And yeah.